Um, yeah, it was a frustrating game overall. I think everyone would have said that, and everyone knows that. Um, and frankly, it just needs to be better from us. They're a good side, and you know it's a tough place to go, but we don't want to make excuses, and we want to be at that level. And I think we can be, but you just didn't see the, the true team that we've been building over the past few games that day. Ollie, first game really where you and Cole in the midfield didn't have kind of control of that situation and the phases of play. What wasn't working? What do you guys need to improve upon for Saturday, Sunday? Yeah, um, it, it was it was loose. There was too much space. Um, Cole and I got disconnected at times, and you know they have good players that come in and out of those areas. And I think we put too much focus on maybe Acosta and, and protecting that area, and it gave space in front of us. Um, but we're learning from that. You know, you learn from these games more than you learn from a win. And in the long run, I think this is going to benefit us because both Cole and I and everybody in the squad has a, a real growth mentality. And we look hard at these games and figure out how we can be better next time. Mm -hmm. Sunday's going to be weird. Baseball stadium, different pitch dimensions, you know, grass over an infield. You know, have you spoken to Omir what that's going to be like? You know, how do you guys prepare for the weirdness that is going to be playing a game like that? Yeah, I haven't spoken to Amir, but we should, and I'm, I'm sure it's a little bit different. But like I said, at the end of the day, like no excuses. It's still a field. You're still going out there to win, so we'll just go our hardest. Uh, just in terms of, you know, Coach mentioned it in our last one, but um, the conditions, super humid, um, you know, maybe didn't get the full, like, physical performance that you guys have had in the last few games. Um, you know, what were the conditions like and how to feel? versus finding altitude versus the super humid conditions. Yeah, it was the first time we faced humidity this year. Um, and I think you could see that it kind of hit us a bit. We were good for the first 10, 15 minutes and we were moving well. And then um, it kind of just died out. I know me personally, I felt pretty fatigued. And you know, you see things that you want to put out and fires you want to put out and you just can't get there. And on the ball, maybe it's a little bit sloppier than it should be. Um, but we're going to face that a lot this season, so we got to get used to it, and we got to manage ourselves better and be more collective and, and really deal with that situation because that's not something that we won't face again, and it'll be hotter with the same humidity, so it's all just a part of it. How rewarding or as exciting has it been just to finally get a run in the first team? Yeah, it, it means everything. I think you guys know I've, I've been a part of this club for a long time, and, and this is my goal to keep going with it. Um, but I, I do feel frustrated after a game like that because I want to set myself to a standard that the team is, has helped me to and keep going and keep growing and help this team you know, for years to become better and better and better. So it's, it's a nice feeling to be a part of it, but I want to keep going. You know, not just a part of it, you played a ton of minutes. You've had some knocks in the, in the midfield and, and just on offense in general. You've been durable except for the hand, you know, so yeah. what's been different this year or, you know, have you improved anything in training or anything like that to sort of be able to be such a constant in the first team? Um, I think it's just a, it's hard to place it on one thing, definitely, um, but a big part of it is just the, the focus that we're putting on on my role in the team. And I think identifying what that is and accepting it is really important. And it's helpful to have a guy like Chris who's been there and, who's been there and, <laughs> and, uh, and played the six. And he's helped me tremendously. And, and the whole coaching staff has to, to learn that position because previously I was playing a bit higher. But I'm learning to love it. And I want to keep improving and become more of a threat defensively and, and keep helping get the ball to people like Georgie and our attacking players to, to score goals. How much more comfortable or free do you feel given you know what Moise, Andres, and Zach are providing behind you? Yeah, it's huge. I think they've been really solid. Um, you see even in a game like against Cincy where you know it's it's rough, there's good moments from them and they put out fires and it's just it's nice to know it gives you a chance to maybe try some things on the ball that you wouldn't normally be able to do and and really be aggressive and step out knowing that you're leaving space behind you as a six which they can cover. I think Moyes does that extremely well, Max who does that extremely well and if it gets past all that then we have Zach and you know he speaks for himself.